Today I'm going to show you how to access and navigate your NVIDIA control panel. As you may remember, last time I showed you how to download your GeForce Experience app. Well, now I'm going to show you how to take it a step further and access your control panel. As you can see here, when you right click and click on your control panel, nothing happens. If this is like you, go ahead and watch till the end of the video. And just to prove here in my task manager, there is absolutely no trace of the NVIDIA control panel. And I'm going to show you now how to fix it. First, you want to go ahead and open GeForce Experience, click on drivers and then custom installation. If your screen flickers a bit here like mine, that is no big deal. What this will do is update your firmware for your graphics card to the latest driver and bring everything up to speed. This may take a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and skip to when the installation is finished. All right, here you can see the update is done. Make sure all your boxes are ticked. Down here it says perform a clean installation. That will reset everything to factory data, which I'm not interested in doing, so I'm going to uncheck it and then continue. It'll do one more little finalization update and then copy everything onto your drive. And like I said before, I'll see you when that process is done. All right, that definitely took a bit longer than expected, but as you can see, everything is done. If you want to double check it, you can click on check for updates. And as you see in the bottom left hand corner and right here in the top, everything is up to the current update and ready to go. You want to then minimize your GeForce experience, right click on your home page and reopen your control panel. And unlike last time, you'll see it pop up in your taskbar below. Click on that. Mine is on the other monitor, but here you can see it pops up and you are ready to navigate. All right, and upon opening for the first time, this is what you will see. You have things like file, edit, desktop, display, help at your top, like always. Down the side, you see things like change resolution, which you can obviously change your resolution of your monitor. You can rotate your display from portrait to landscape and flip it all. You can set up G-Sync if your monitor supports such a thing, and you can even set up multiple of those displays if you prefer. All right, guys, that is just some of the things your control panel can be used for. If you want an updated video, let me know in the description down below some of the other things you can do. I appreciate you all for coming in and watching my video, and I will see you all in the next one.